spinning is Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday, trading the 8th of November 2016. This is the end of day analysis as we uh, approach the uh, put the election and uh, the volatility that's surrounding it. Okay, be, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Uh, my uh, profile certainly is on there as well, so be sure to visit that. Uh, it's uh, intermarket analysis for those of you who are trying to find it on there on Iondo's social trading app. I post my trades on there now, and you can certainly follow and uh, have a look at my results. This week certainly is negative, certainly uh, being stopped out of my potential short positions at present. Uh, certainly finding it hard to navigate this week and last week. Trade Signal, you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, so let's have a look exactly what's happening here. Okay, in terms of the uh, potential market reaction and the news flow. Now, my bias has been bearish all day. The reason why is because of Chinese exports and Chinese imports coming in weaker than expected. Uh, not only that, we had uh, German industrial production certainly missing as well. Uh, we had uh, German exports as well, negative again. Uh, German imports negative as well. So the two major, 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 shall we say, um, exporters in the world uh, in terms of technology, uh, okay, and innovation, certainly weaker, and therefore one would uh, presume that the market certainly would go into a risk aversion mode. Now that is certainly being distorted by this potential Hillary win. Uh, last week we sold off on uh, potential Trump uh, concerns, and that certainly is being negated. Now it's almost negated more than 75%. We've had a rally on the S&P. If I just bring up the S&P 500 now, one would have expected a certain retracement, up to say 38, 40, 50%. But we've actually exceeded more than 75%, which is pretty amazing. Uh, if I bring up the daily chart for you, folks, you can see here in the daily chart, this key uh, zone now, we've taken out the Fib 75, 61. I mean, it's one hell of a rally. Uh, and there's been no pullback either. I mean, you'd expect the uncertainty going into the election, etc. And all it took was a um, Hillary, uh, Mr. Comey certainly um, uh, reversing on it and a Hillary potential uh, indictment. So, again, it certainly is uh, strange. Uh, you, Hillary gets vindicated and all of a sudden we are uh, back to almost where we started. I mean, if you look at the actual high, 21.54 was a pivot high. You have an unfilled gap at 21.63. Now, this market really is uh, is very amazing. I mean, it's certainly moving in vertical lines. That's what this market is doing right now, moving in vertical lines, which is, like I said, pretty amazing. I mean, all the resistance levels have been taken out. You can see resistance here, um, crushed, okay, absolutely crushed. Previous support equals resistance here, 2120, crushed. I mean, there's been no literal no pullbacks at all. I mean, you had resistance here at 2141, crushed as well. Now you have resistance at 2145, certainly is holding for now. The weekly chart as well on the S&P 500, certainly you can see last week's bearish engulfing candle, given Trump concerns, totally ignored. Uh, the market certainly has uh, ripped it to shreds. I mean, no market doesn't even care. I mean, that's very, very impressive. Now you have resistance at the 2150 zone. Certainly not expecting that, especially after weaker German exports, weaker German uh, Chinese uh, exports as well, imports weaker too. Therefore, obviously, American goods being sold uh, to China and Germany certainly not being consumed, and therefore one would uh, come to a conclusion that will be a risk aversion play, and that certainly isn't the case either. So, markets certainly, again, one would expect irrational and uh, irrationality, uh, illogical uh, price action going into obviously a potential election, and that certainly has been the case. Hence the reason why it's very, very hard to read this market at present. But as traders, we have to continue and uh, continue to persevere regardless, okay? So uh, that was the summation with regards to uh, European markets. Now, the UK had uh, manufacturing production uh, came in slightly better, but the industrial production certainly missed. Uh, UK GDP came in in line, okay? Fed Evans was certainly dovish. Red Book came in more or less uh, in according to expectations, jolts. Uh, job openings certainly came in on the uh, slightly um, stronger side, although markets weren't really reacting to that to, to a large extent. Okay, again, it was Mr. Evans' speech that really was was uh, was the uh, the reason why the dollar certainly started to collapse, uh, arguing for uh, an inflation um, an inflation target that should be higher than expected, and therefore, uh, obviously, overshooting inflation there wasn't a harm or any harm according to him. Now, copper certainly has been surging. Now, certainly not surging on stronger demand because we had German exports, imports certainly, and along with Chinese data, certainly weaker than expected. So it certainly seems to be more of a supply constraint as opposed to a fundamental organic growth, obviously, uh, argument. So again, I would certainly ignore that to a large extent. Okay, now let's look at the technical reasons or technical arguments here. Now, the German DAX at the moment is currently trading around the 10,550 zone. We've certainly closed a gap, 
uh, gap here at 10.530. So again, from my perspective, based on my intermarket analysis, uh, uh, obviously, uh, insight, I would certainly go into a risk aversion mode, given the fact that the German DAX has actually closed that gap. 60 minute chart, you can see the gap has closed. Now the uh, European letter stock certainly got a leg higher on the back of obviously European or US stocks certainly ripping higher. And also we had Mr. ECB Lane arguing that uh, December would, uh, would certainly bring forth more QE. Again, that's just one opinion. Okay, it certainly has sent the euro down to 1.101. .01. Also, given the fact that Hillary uh, polls early indications certainly are pointing towards a early Hillary win, and therefore you are looking at a short squeeze in U.S. equities as well. So it's interesting. Okay, it'd be interesting how Mr. Trump reacts, whether he uh, certainly accepts the loss or he actually takes other. Um, it takes another avenue. I mean, it, with Mr. Trump, you just don't know. Okay, so again, for now, from my perspective. Given the fact that the German DAX has closed, uh, the whole uh, argument of uh, the market selling off on this Trump concerns, etc., we are back to neutrality now. So, from my understanding, the US election's over, we're back to neutrality, market has rallied, we've exceeded FIB 75%, US market, so we're back into neutral zone. So, we're back onto Fed rate hike concerns, okay, and weaker German exports and Chinese data as well, okay. Uh, FTSE 100, or should we say the CAC? Let's bring up the French CAC first of all. Okay, so French CAC daily chart again currently CAC trading at around four five hundred certainly has surpassed the gap fill. So from my art, my perspective, gap fill was a stronger, powerful argument. We are now into Fib sixty one percent, Fib seventy five at four five twenty. Again, another solid argument to short the CAC. So my bias on the French CAC certainly will be bearish. Okay, and I'll be looking for short opportunities. Two hundred MA was seen at the four four eight six. You are into previous support equals resistance at four five hundred. Solid, solid argument from my understanding to uh, certainly short the French cap with the unfilled gap left below to potentially target. Okay, let's move on to the FTSE 100. FTSE 100 certainly has benefited <coughs> with the copper rally, even though it's uh, more of a supply led rally. Okay, um, Aussie Kiwi certainly pushing high on the back of Mr. Evans' uh, dovish rhetoric. Okay, and uh, given the fact that uh, markets certainly embracing risk to a large extent, uh, totally ignoring weaker Chinese exports and imports data. And also uh, German import export data as well. So again, it's a strange market where the uh, the market has its focus and eye on. Now the daily chart of uh, the FTSE 100, we are into that Fib 50% resistance zone now. If it continues to go higher, then you are into that Fib 61, 69, 20 or 69, 20 zone. Certainly a solid, solid resistance zone. So looking for risk aversion here, folks. Looking at Fib 50%, 6, 8, 70 is where the FTSE is at present. Again, risk off. Uh, again, 60-minute chart, 6870 it confirms the risk of previous support equals resistance. If we do continue higher, then 6920 is your next resistance zone. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.